Hey guys, welcome to the Data Tech channel. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. Here we talk about the modern data technologies and do hands-on practice with them. And today we will learn how to send a customized email notification for the activities of the data pipeline. So without further ado, let's start. So there are some prerequisites for this video. The first one is uh, having an understanding of Spark pool in Azure Snaps Analytics, or I'll say basic understanding of Azure Snaps Analytics. If you don't, please check out my uh, previous videos. I will provide the link in the description. And the second, uh, you need to be aware about the Azure Cos Cosmos Snaps, uh, Snaps link. And uh, if you don't know much about it, uh, I have a video for that too, and I'll provide the link description. So uh, about the custom email notification in Azure Snaps Analytics. So uh, there is no email activity available in the Azure Snaps Analytics out of the box. So we have like uh, two options to send emails, either use the Azure Monitor or Web Activity in Logic Apps. So Azure Monitor is like a, is one of the capabilities of Azure which comes out of the box. So you must be wondering if we have some capability out of the box, why, why we need to uh, go for a customized uh, email notification. Uh, Azure Monitor, uh, like they're like some, I won't say issues, but they're like Azure, like it's come out of the box with some limitations. So the first one is like, it's more for the technical folks. So for an example, if you wanna send an email for a business folks, or some non-technical people, then uh, Azure monitoring won't work well, and you need like a uh, you need to do a lot of uh, like development using the REST API REST APIs to just send an email notification, which in itself is a project, and you can't customize them like up to that level. Uh, they are slower, and as I mentioned, they are not part of the activity pipeline and so basically they're like it, it, it's more complex to set a, set up an email notification through Azure monitor so the preferred way is to use a web activity in the using the logic apps uh, uh, service and in this video we're going to use the logic app service to show you how to send a customized email um, so like there are a few benefits is like easy to customize, low cost and relatively more user friendly than Azure Monitor. So uh, here's something which is a list of things which we will do in this demo. Uh, so the first thing is like we will run a very simple PySpark ETL. So what we will do, we will like read the data from Cosmos DP and perform an uh, uh, an aggregation on, on it and load it to a Spark table. Simple one, and after, once this uh, notebook is done, we'll send an email uh, to my, uh, we will send an, it's an email on successful completion of Spark ETL. Okay, so let's jump into the demo now. Okay, let's go to the so this is the uh, Azure, Azure Snaps uh, Studio, and uh, we we already have created a connection to the Cosmos DB, and we pulling the retail demo data. Uh, I, I've already done it, but I'll show you how to do it. And if you need more details, as I mentioned, there will be a link uh, where I have talked about uh, uh, the integration of Azure Cosmos DB with the as our snaps analytics. So first you click on this external. So we, we, we pulling the data from Azure Cosmo DB SQL API. So click on that, continue. And this one is DB. So let's give it a name DB2. And after that, pick the subscription database name and by the way like it will be the same data which we already pulled but this is for demo purposes I'm showing detail demo 
test the connection perfect create so this is just to show you how to how you can create a like a connection to Azure Cosmo DB and uh, this is a like a connection to the analytical store of Cosmo DB not the transactional store okay refresh so you can see now we have two uh, databases available they both have the same data it's just to show you how to do it okay cool once we have the data the next step is to create a notebook I've already created a notebook to save our time and as you can see it's a very simple notebook nothing very complex so I'll explain it to uh, like what exactly we're doing here so in the top five lines we just basically reading the uh, reading the data from Cosmos uh, analytical store so spark dot read format this is uh, this is to tell the spark like we're reading from the cosmos analytical store and then passing the name of the connection so this is like old connection i'm using if you want we can switch it to two but uh, we can switch it to the new one but they both are same okay then we loading into the data frame printing the schema and after that just a simple aggregation we are doing so we so the, uh, the data we pulling it have a field name item and we aggregating the price uh, for each item and we renaming it to the sum price and then we storing it into the spark 2 table so this is a notebook we're going to integrate it into our pipeline so we can show you once this execute we can send an email okay cool let's go to the pipeline I'll create a new pipeline and I'll give it a name let's give it a new name I'll say cosmos job email okay cool so first I'll bring the notebook okay this is agree uh, yeah just aggregate notebook uh, just a bit aggregate job or activity that's a good okay then we go to the setting just so now we have created a notebook I'm sorry we have created a, a activity for the notebook which we want and in this pipeline we the next thing which we want to add it is to uh, uh, like uh, is to uh, to add an activity which can send an email and as we know that there is no uh, uh, like there is no out-of-the-box activity which we can add and so we're going to use the logic app uh, the web activity here so let me pull this web. So we'll bring it here. Oh, let me drag it a bit here. We connect. And this is like if you see this is for the green one. Yeah. If you want, like you can do for failure and other things too. But be doing for the success one. Okay, so let's go here. We name it to the send email. Uh, we name it send email notification. So perfect. Then we go to settings. Okay, so now if you see, we need a URL. We need a method from where we uh, where we sending this information. So for that. We go to our Azure portal, go in Logic Apps, add a new consumption ad. Okay, we're going to use this resource group, the email, 
let's give it email notify Okay, we have an East US and rest of the things you can keep it same. View and create. It take a couple of seconds to create this. It's in the deployment mode. So we go back here. So we need the URL from there and we need to add like some more properties here. Let's go there. That's that's done. Let's go to the resource. Once you click on this, you have to click on designer node, like uh, sorry, logic app designer, and then um, you add this stuff. Okay, so here we will generate the G, uh, the URL, but first we need to add the like what um, what information we will getting from the our uh, our, our pipeline. So for that, like I already have, uh, okay, so we, so we're getting like some basic information like subject line, which pipeline, what time, and what's the status of the job. So we'll create the schema, paste it here, done. And once you click on done, got it, you will see now we have schema there. The thing which I pasted was like without schema. But it was like in a, in a JSON format without schema but now we have a schema here so the next thing which we need to do is click on there method done oh sorry now you have to like it's a post method so we're getting information from there we good here okay and once we save it, you can see the URL will be generated. We need to add some actions here too. So I'll add that too. So click on here, add an action. So, so our action is to send an email to Gmail. Like I'm going to use my Gmail account. So I'll click on that. And we will be sending an email. So pick that operation. Okay, and then uh, you can dynamically add the address or if you want like you can add it so for this demo I'm going to put my uh, address directly here because it's not uh, like it's not a good practice to do on a, on a public po like po public internet to send emails via to pass your email address here and there. So that's why I'm doing it. But I'll show you how you can pass dynamically too. Okay, we get there. And let's add two more parameter, body and subject. Yeah. Okay, in subject, we will pass the dynamic. Like we'll get this information from our pipeline click on subject and for the body we also okay for body we will say pipeline time and job status i know like it's it's not going to look well so let me customize a bit uh, let's say pipe, mm, yeah, pipeline name. Okay, then we go here. Sorry, time. We can customize more, but like I'm just going to do a very simple one. Status. So we'll, we, uh, okay, we added the action, we here, let's save it and get the URL. Okay, now we are saved, we should be good. 
copy this URL, go to your Azure, go to your Azure Snap Studio, paste the URL here, and here we need to do a couple of, so we passing the post, and for, let's say here, uh, yes, so we can add dynamically, it here so subject will like mm, let's say pipe so this is a hard-coded value so pipeline job executed what's the pipeline name so we can get the pipeline name from system variable so for that you need to write at the rate curly braces like open and close and in between just go there and click on the so you get the pipeline and for the time too we can do the same thing so let's do it again we can get this from the system too so it's not part of the system variables for that we have to go to the functions and yeah, date function uh, it should be at bottom yeah okay we need to close this like we didn't put the okay and job status is uh, successful uh, yeah just put success okay this look good finish then we have to because like we added uh, if you go here like we reading these two values so we need to define these parameters in the user property too but they will pick the values from uh, from machine like time will be from machine and sorry like they pick the value from the system so we don't have to worry about it but we have to define them so click on new line just give it a name it's, I'm just giving him a, a default value but it will pick from the system variable in time let's give it mm, it's 11 or 6 Okay, perfect. Uh, let's double check. Get everything. Okay, let's give it a try. So, oh, first we need to publish. And when we run this job, it will take some time because our so like it have a Spark job in it, and which uh, which take times because of. Uh, because like Spark first start the Spark session and then run the job. So before we start, I just want to make sure like I had the right email address. So data tech demo two at gmail.com and we are data tech gmail. Let's copy paste just to be make sure. and we can monitor and you can see the job is running so the pipeline is running we can go and click on here it will tell like what's the status of our job so it's running it takes some time the reason as I mentioned because uh, this uh, notebook have a spark job and in Azure Snaps Analytics if you're not using your uh, spark for let's say 10 minutes or 15 minutes it will stop the session so 
if you like if you want to run the job again like it it take a couple of minutes to come back and then you can run your jobs there okay in the meantime I can show you Yeah, I can show you my like old uh, so this is like a like a, like if I show you what second I know this is running so if you can see like I uh, before this demo I have ran uh, I was doing the some test runs and a couple of them were failed I was like manipulating some uh, some settings that's why but like a uh, uh and couple and you you can see that like a couple of them were successful too and i've deleted the emails but like this one is i or the only one i kept and these are some settings like i didn't customize the email that much but uh, it sent it to me and but you can see here like all these jobs took a while like not a while like a couple of minutes to to run and the reason being is like uh, they have like if you look at the times there's a time difference and as i mentioned like our spark takes some time to run uh due to the spark search. so let's click on refresh and see where we are so it's still running and and we doing the live demo with you guys so hopefully like it should not fail but sometimes it fails and we uh, do do some uh like some setting issues or some like some errors we can see the errors and fix it but this is how you send an email like you you create a web app you said yeah you create a web app and uh, like click like create a sorry create a logical app click on logical app designer and there like you need to pick HTTP request and depending on like where you're sending in emails you can send an email to Outlook Gmail or some other uh, email providers you can go you can send to whoever you want but the process will remain same so uh, I'll show you like again let me play with the other one I know I showed you the Gmail one, but I'll show you another one. So if you go there and let's click on all, or let's just search for Outlook. You can get Outlook. So Outlook, this is for the personal ones, but Office 360, if you have like a uh, your uh, corporate email, you can send it there too. Okay, let's check the status. Perfect. So you guys can see, uh, I got that uh, email, pipeline job executed pipeline name is this the time with like it because we uh, it's not just the time it give us the uh, like date and time and what's the state uh, so that's that's all for uh, this demo if you guys have any questions or anything feel free to send me an email and be safe take care have a good one guys